What is going on lads? It's Electric Shock here and today I'm bringing you guys another player review. So today we are going to be reviewing the right winger from Holland and Febonache and that is Dirk Kwout. Now if there are any Dutch viewers that I have, please let me know how to pronounce it. I've never known how to pronounce it. Is it Dirk Kai? Is it Dirk Queech? Is it Dirk Kout? For this video I'm going to say Dirk Kout because that is how I have known it. So let's get right to this review. He did cost me 12k and in 6 games in this very nice team he scored 11 goals with 1 assist. Some of his main in-game stats here, you can pause the video or go have a look on foot head or foot whiz. He's got 82 crossing, 80 finishing, 87 penalties, 80 heading accuracy, 88 shot power, 84 positioning, 88 stamina, 80 and 84 reaction. Now, he can play in a number of positions, right wing, center forward, right mid, right wing back. He's 34, so he's coming to the end of his career, but informed Dirk out. Is he good? I found him a lot of fun. You know, he's got some deadly finishing, as you can see right there. His left foot isn't too bad. I wouldn't really recommend it, though. Try and keep the ball on his right foot. But the main thing that I found that was good about him was his shooting. He has got some great finishing. A lot of his shots that you take will go in, or at least be on target. His dribbling wasn't too bad either, as you can see with this goal here. And most of the goals are scored by dribbling around offenders. And that's got to do with a bit of his strength. He can hold off a few players and that helps him control the ball. He also has some very good links. You can link him you know, to Dutch players or go into his league, link him with Emenika and stuff like I did in this team. His penalties are very good as well. I think I scored about two in this video. Free kicks are non-existent. And he also has some pretty good defending. You're going to notice he will be back and defending. You know, I had Kyle Walker, so he was making a few overlaps. When Walker was up on a run, Dirk Kout would sit back in. And that 67 defending does come in handy. If I was going to use him again, I'd probably use him in a formation with him at right mid. Just so he doesn't be up the pitch that much and he can help out in the defense a little bit more. There are a few negatives about Dirk Kout though. His pace does let him down. If he had a little bit more, he'd be quite a fantastic player. His work rates, of course, like I said, it was probably the formation because I had the right forward. If you play him a little bit further back, he should be fine. The skill moves, you know, he's only got three. He can only do a roulette or so. That's a little bit disappointing, but three skill moves, it will do. And also his weak foot, which is only to try and keep it on his right foot, like I said. So what did I think of Dirk Kout? When I did pick up this card and have a look at his stats, I saw that 71 pace. I saw that 75 dribbling, and I did not think much about him. But he was actually a very fun player to use. You can use him in a lot of teams just because he's Dutch. He's got a nice little net league you can put him in. And overall, he's a very nice little player. He's going to be a little bit underrated. You won't really see him used at all just because of that pace, of course. But he was actually very fun to use. He's got some very nice shooting. He's got great stamina, of course. Strength was pretty good. Dribbling was pretty good. If you can get used to using him, then he's going to be a nice little player for you like he was for me. So that is going to bring this review to an end, guys. I would recommend picking up Dirk out. He's something a little bit of fun, and he's not too bad either. He's only 10k. Go try him out and tell me what you think of him. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm going to have some more videos out soon, and I'll speak to you guys later. I hope you all have a lovely day, and goodbye.